Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use the count function in Microsoft Excel. The count function returns the number of cells that contain numerical values including numbers and dates from a set of data. You can either supply values directly to the function or as a cell reference to the location in the worksheet. Let's see how count function works with the help of examples. Here we have sample data and we type count function in A14 and then we hit tab to auto complete the function. Count takes value arguments which can be any value, array or reference to the cell range. The first argument is required for the function to perform and the rest are optional. Function accepts up to 255 value arguments in Excel 2007 or later version. So first we take each cell reference from A8 to A12 individually in separate arguments. So we select A8 then comma a9 comma a10 comma a11 comma and a12 then we close the parenthesis and we hit enter the function counted the cells which contain numbers and returned 5 we can also get the count by taking them in a single range so instead of separate arguments we select a8 to a12 in a single range and then we hit enter function gives us the same result 5 as there are 5 numeric values in this range. Now we enter count function in cell B14 and we select B8 to B12. Now we will see what happens if there is any empty cell or text value in the range. So we hit enter and we get 3. That's because count function does not include blank cells, text or cells which cannot be translated into numbers. And in this case, B11 has text in it and hence function returns 3 as the answer. Let's see how function treats a cell which has date in it. So we type count function in D14 and we select D8 to D12 where cell D9 has date value in it. So we close the parenthesis then we hit enter. The function returns 4 whereas we can see only 3 numbers in this range that's because Dates are always represented by numbers in Excel and it displays as date because of cell formatting. Okay, now we enter count function in D14. Then we tap to auto complete the function and we select D8 to D12 as an array and we hit enter. It gives us 2 because if you look at cell D9 which looks like a number however it is not. If you look at the top left corner of the cell the green marker indicates that it is a number stored as text value and which is why the function skips this value and checks for next. Then it found D10 as blanks so it ignores it too and then it looks for the next argument which is a logical value. The function ignores the logical value entered within a range of cells and hence function returns 2 as an answer. But let's see what happens if we enter any text which represent numbers and logical value directly to the function. So we get into the edit mode in D14 and in the second argument we type true in the double quotes comma then we type true which is a logical value and now we close the parenthesis then we hit enter. Surprisingly function now returns 4 because text which represent numbers and logical values are counted when it is directly supplied into the function. Okay, escape. Count function also ignores the error value within the range. So we type count function here in E14 and we select E8 to E12 where E10 has any error. Now we hit enter and we get 4. It is because function does not count the cell which has error value in it. Well, this is how count function works in Excel. We hope you found this lesson informative. Stay tuned and keep learning with us. Thank you and have a nice day.